Let's analyze the SoFi stocks with options. We have a very serious level at $7. Let's immediately look at the resistance level according to the options. As we can see, we have a huge wall at $7. And today we have just broken through this wall, indicating potential acceleration in the stock's price movement. Also, an earnings report is coming soon, and we will look at market forecasts and what the market is predicting. But let's start from the beginning. The stock has been in consolidation for almost a month and is now up almost 20% from its minimum, which is a significant increase. I already made a video about this company and mentioned that growth was possible. Consequently, growth has already begun, and now let's analyze the volatility of this stock, what is happening, and determine where it might go next. I will also definitely show you my portfolio. I have thousands of shares. At the moment, I also have call options, and the stock is growing very well. But we will come back to that a bit later. Let's start with the volatility. As we can see, volatility is starting to increase significantly. This is actually a good sign because the stock may continue to rise. Volatility is growing across all expiration dates, both near-term and long-term. It starts from 55% and goes up to 80%, which means that when the stock was in consolidation, volatility gradually decreased, reaching 40% and 37%. But the more the stock rises, the more the volatility increases, we must also not forget that we have an earnings report coming soon at the end of July. After this report, the company could accelerate even more if the financial results are good. Conversely, if the financial results are not good, the stock could drop significantly. Now let's look at the volatility smile. As we can see, the volatility smile is different on various expiration dates. On closer expiration dates and medium-term expiration dates, volatility increases both for put options and call options, meaning for both the stock's fall and rise. In fact, if we look at longer-term expiration dates, we see that volatility mainly increases only for put options. Let me try to explain how this works in detail. For shorter expiration dates, this is quite normal because the stock is rising, and if the stock rises, call options become more expensive, they are bought more, and thus call options equalize with put options. In medium-term expiration dates, our volatility increases due to the upcoming earnings report. This is why we have such a volatility curve. Typically, put options should be more expensive than call options, but as we can see, the situation here is not quite standard call options are equal to put options. This actually indicates, among other things, a possible rise in the stock. Let's now look at historical and implied volatility to understand what is happening. As we can see, the white line represents implied volatility, while the gray line represents historical volatility. Currently, the white line or implied volatility is much higher than its historical values. This discrepancy is due to two main factors. First, there is an upcoming earnings report. Second, the stock has risen significantly, which has also increased volatility. This is actually a positive indicator because, as I have always mentioned, you can trade not only the stocks themselves, but also their volatility. Now let's see how this can be done. Artificial intelligence can help us develop several strategies for this purpose. It's important to remember that volatility always tends to revert to its historical values, making trading volatility easier. We predict that volatility will decrease by 15%, meaning it will return to its historical values. Let me show you this in detail. Now let's see what strategies the AI has developed for us. The proposed strategy involves selling two call options with a strike price of $8 and buying one call option with a strike price of $7. This strategy is quite risky because if there is a sharp increase in the stock price following the earnings report, we could face significant losses. This is just a hypothetical strategy that needs to be managed carefully. While it's possible to make money with it, it requires active management. I do not recommend blindly following AI bots or bloggers you should always think for yourself first and foremost. Now, let's return to volatility and examine the support and resistance levels. As we can see, there is a huge volume or a significant wall of resistance exactly at the $7 level, primarily consisting of call options. We have massive resistance at this level, which we tried to overcome yesterday and also a few weeks ago. Currently, before the market opens, we have sharply broken through this level. This is a good sign because, as a reminder, options are only traded during market hours. Breaking through such significant levels before the market opens usually means they will likely be overcome unless the market maker suppresses the price. The next significant resistance levels are at $7.50 and $8. Here are these resistance levels. While these levels are still some distance away, if we break through them sharply, there will be no more significant obstacles and the stock could start rising rapidly, similar to what happened in May 2023. At that time, some resistance levels were overcome, and within a few weeks, the stock price almost doubled. While I can't guarantee the same will happen here, I'm just showing you how it could potentially unfold. It's important to monitor and observe what happens next. Now, let's look at the market forecast. 
Let me remind you that the market forecast is made using mathematical methods, specifically log normal distribution. This incorporates all available information, allowing the market to predict where the stock might go. As we can see, the highest probability is for the stock to be between $6 and $8, which is the current range. The market can't predict more precisely at the moment because we have an upcoming earnings report and more accurate predictions can be made post-report. Now, let's look at the market forecast for the end of 2024. The market predicts that the stock will be in the $6 to $7 range, which is roughly the current range, possibly with a slight decrease. Again, we'll need to watch how things develop. Next, I present the 3D volatility view. This contains all the information about volatility, options, dates, and expirations. I often use it for creating interesting strategies. Now, let's look at my portfolio. This is a virtual account where I demonstrate the logic of position management regarding this stock. Let's transition to my spreadsheet to review the results. I haven't opened any new options positions recently, focusing more on my real portfolio. You can also check all the information there, where I've made several trades. To summarize, let's see how my strategy is performing against the market. Today is July 15th, 2024. The stock price is $7.30. I've updated this in my spreadsheet. Starting with $10,000, my goal is to outperform the stock. Currently, the stock is down 9%, while my portfolio is up 3.5%, leading to a total outperformance of 12.5%. I currently hold 1,000 shares, and to maintain neutrality to the stock price, I need 1,250 shares. Once I achieve this, the stock will never be able to outperform my portfolio. Looking at the graph, the blue line represents my portfolio, and the red line represents the stock. As we can see, my portfolio systematically outperforms the stock, and during sharp increases, my portfolio also grows alongside the stock. I use derivatives and options in my strategy, as detailed in my playlist. Returning to the stock, I anticipate some consolidation before the earnings report, followed by a potential breakout. Interestingly, this breakout seems to have occurred even before the report. On one hand, the upcoming report could serve as a significant catalyst or trigger, especially after its release. It could either provide an upward momentum or, if the report is unfavorable, result in a downturn. I want to remind you that I don't predict price movements. I don't know where this stock is headed. My approach is to manage positions wisely. My goal is to build a well-structured portfolio, buying stocks and hedging them as needed. I've explained this process in detail in my playlist dedicated to this stock. As I've mentioned before, the company's financial metrics are gradually improving. Previously, it was unprofitable, but now all reports are showing profits. The next report is also crucial if the company remains profitable, it has good potential for upward movement. For long-term investors who believe in this company, it's possible that the stock might eventually surpass its historical highs. However, patience is required. I'm starting a completely new portfolio from scratch, demonstrating which stocks I buy and sell. I'm forming a portfolio of 10 very solid stocks, and I'm not including this particular stock in that portfolio. Why? Because it is still in a developmental stage. The company is quite volatile and unpredictable. My portfolio consists of more stable and proven stocks. While this company might fit well in a speculative portfolio, managing it requires a unique approach, one that involves many small companies, some of which might fail, but others that could yield significant profits. It's also essential not to forget about hedging. Hedging this company should help manage risk. I recommend watching my previous videos where I explain how I manage positions in my real portfolio. Good luck to everyone.